hello 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 my love bugs once again it is your girl Lumi love here with another message from the divine as i always say today if you're hearing my voice i ask that you harden out your heart for i am just the messenger and we are all here to witness and learn thank you guys for your likes subscribe shares views and memberships everything is greatly appreciated my loves so let's go ahead and get into a reading because i'm gonna tell you right now i have no i have <laughs> I'm going to just sing the song I'm I'm hearing. And y'all going to be like, boy, what? <laughs> okay. um, What? So bring us something, something. And we all came to see Tigo Beatties. So bring yourself over here, girl. And let me see you get low. Something, something, something. Now take it to the flow. Uh, to the flow. And if you want to act, then you can keep yourself where you at. 369. Dang, she fine. Give it to me. Second to me one more time. Get low. <laughs> Get low, get low, get low To the window, to the window, to the wall To the wall, to the sweat drop down Oh, these, okay, somebody's wilding I don't know, somebody's wilding Maybe somebody can do whatever they want to do with feminine energies uh, That's what they felt like They can get any feminine they want They still can, they about to throw a party And if you don't want to come, then you ain't got to come Because they ain't studying your ass They sick of begging you They sick of trying to kiss your ass they ready to go out and party. They ready to get loose. They ready to turn. Like, what is wrong with this person? This person's like, they ready to turn up. They don't give a fuck. You don't want to talk to them. Okay, so this person is mad. They missed an opportunity with you. Maybe you repositioned yourself because you thought this person was bringing some some, some chaos to you. Whether it was, yeah, on purpose. Disputes. Envy from people that didn't even know you. Like, this person was talking shit about you, but then playing in your face. And this person mad because they can't do it no more. They can't play in your face no more. You're not going for that. You don't want to be there. So I guess that's what it was. This person was around there maybe telling people that, you know, you were some sort of hoe and dudes was like, oh, yeah, I want to label her. I want to see what she talk about. Maybe you got a big chest. They was like, yeah, I like her uh, chest or whatever. Or maybe this masculine told you he liked your chest. I don't know, child. But all I know is that this person is upset that they can't just do whatever they want to do to you. They've been talking all kind of shit, saying they've been doing all kind of stuff to you and with you with all these other masculines and people. And now these other masculines want to come towards you. And this person told all kind of lies and all kind of bullshit against you because they didn't want these masculines coming towards you because they wanted to be the only one that'll lay with you but now they can't lay with you now you not having nothing with them like i said you cut them off and this person feel bad because they say you out here looking good this person say yeah man she 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 out here looking better skin glowing maybe when they was fooling with you or maybe when this masculine was fooling with you um <clears throat> Your skin wasn't glowing as much. You know, he could possibly be an energy vampire type of person. But you looking good now, honey, because you were a clear thinker. Maybe, yes, you're very optimistic. And sometimes you give people second chances. But you might have gave this person maybe up to four, no, up to three chances. And that fourth time, you was like, fuck it. I'm not finna keep dealing with this person and they bullshit. I'm just gonna let it go. And once you did that, all this confusion this person was trying to cause about you started looking like, mm, people was like, I kind of feel like you lying i kind of feel like you feel some type of way because she fine as hell and she out here getting that bag she out here what is this being nurturing okay so may, I, I i don't know somebody was trying to call you some sort of hoe honey they was disappointed because you left by nicole and they couldn't do this magic take your energy or just fuck on you no more i'm sorry they couldn't have sex with you they couldn't have sex with you y'all know bear with me now i just be talking how i talk and how i come out okay but yeah they just mad they can't have sex with you no more because you were enlightened about how this person maybe was trying to cause endings for you for other people okay so you know what i'm getting that you possibly could have slept with this person yeah you possibly could have slept with this person like a couple times you decided to leave this person out in the cold and ever since then this person has been trying to cop block this person has been cop blocking many of people have came to this person trying to see what's up with you trying to talk to you and it didn't happen but i'm hearing one person one person is gonna get to make it through okay because you got your boundaries up honey one person is going to get to make it through this masculine tried to make you seem like you were ostracized make you seem like you were poor you were less than because they were jealous of you they were also like i said wanting to keep you to themselves they didn't want nobody else bothering with you dealing with you laying with you nothing because they knew that you were this queen of cups with this ace of cups okay baby you coming with it all right you already came up two queens let me find out Okay, and this emperor's energy and this person is just upset with you because you moved on. And when you moved on, you got better. Of course, she was supposed to. This person was holding you back. This person was pers purposely trying to make you depressed and dissatisfied over maybe something that you were doing to make money. Maybe over relationships, period. Okay, maybe matching up with people. Yeah, this person didn't want you matching up with nobody. They wanted you feeling like you would never find anybody for you. But you found out maybe something that this person did. Um, 
I'm getting that they were coming to you in your face being nice. This was a covert narcissist or just a person who took <clears throat> P-U-S-S-Y to tell you how they really feel about you, okay? This person, you, you probably made this person nervous. I'm getting you intimidate this masculine, okay? This is the masculine energy that you intimidate. All oh, with you just being in your natural energy, you intimidate this person. So instead of them coming straight forward to you and telling you they don't like you, okay, because you wasn't giving them no cootie mamas, they... <clears throat> Well, I ain't gonna say wasn't giving them cootie mamas. Maybe at the time you was giving them cootie mamas because they was given to you, all right? And maybe everybody saw that this person was given to you, so they must have had to been telling the truth. They must have had to been laying with you. They must have had to been getting that cootie mama like they said they was because they was giving all kind of shit to you. They thought this person was caking. They thought you was a trick. They thought that's all they had to do was come with the cash. So a lot of people was like, well, shit, since I want to be with it, that's all I got to do. I got it. What's up? So he was hating. He was like, nah, you can't do this. You can't do that. So I'm getting this is like a group of masculine. It's like like the black brag on their feminine uh encounters and stuff you know how they like to lay with women or how they like to say women are he was bragging on you and all this shit like that and then everybody was like well shit we finna get a piece of that too you didn't care about the other ones why you care about her so tough oh i don't give a fuck about that bitch i don't care about her i don't care about her i don't i don't i don't you know what i'm saying that's 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 what he's saying but he's pressed he is super pressed because these people are competing to come towards you, competing to get justice. They said, okay, if she ain't nothing but a trick, then I got that cash. Okay, if she just, uh, what is, what is that, hypersexual? Okay, I got enough for her. I got toys. I got this. I got that. Like, these people showing up with everything that this person said that they had, that they was bragging about, and they want to come towards you. And, you know, you got your guard up to these energies, but this is just what this masculine is seeing on the back end because, like I say, his whole point was to try to get people not to want to talk to you. All right, but one person came through one person actually came through polite enough okay this person came through like i'm really getting he was real smooth i'm getting like when you first saw this person you was like okay what's this because you already knew what type of time the other ones was on all right you already knew they was looking at you you already knew they was lusting after you and that was just because nobody had you but you know i don't think that you was registering the fact that somebody was lying on you in the background but <clears throat> that was really making them lust after you but just your essence pure you already know you have some sort of sex sexy or sexual energy about you i'm not saying that you you know you can still be conservative and be sexy honey so however you come and you come in and that's the authentic energy that you have i'm hearing some people might have tried to call you weird i heard the word weird so if they try to call you weird that's because you on a different you on a different i'm hearing timeline and these people you on a different frequency than these people they could never imagine to be in their authentic selves how you are okay Okay, that's why you have a commercial success. Not only are you a hard worker, you are uh you think very <clears throat> you just think very out of the box. And that's what keeps you in this good energy. That's why a lot of people want to be around you and want to experience you because you're mysterious. They don't know where the hell you get that energy from. They don't know how the fuck you do it is what you do. Some people want to see so they can copy. Some look, some people want to see so they can copy. Some people just want to want to witness it. Some people want to lay down with it. All right. A lot of people want to trick you out your spot. So they want to try to set you up. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of people with a lot of different reasons why they want to come towards you. And I'm getting these are feminine energies that may want to set you up or try to sneak some cootie mommy at you because I don't think you like feminine energies like that but these women want to try to persuade you to let them waters flow it's something about your waters it's something about maybe your creativity your positive energy your intuition your spirituality um opportunities that you have or that cootie mommy honey it could be all of them all right and 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 your healing energy as well so these people wanted a piece of that these people wanted to make sure they can get a piece of that but like i said it's this one person who decided to take a chance um and you kind of was digging this person and this person is a very hard work, hard working, trustworthy person, even though he maybe surrounds himself around um, irresponsible people. But I don't even want to say surrounds himself around irresponsible people. He may be surrounded by irresponsible people because of who he is, just like you were, or surrounded by people that, you know, really didn't care for you because of who you were, a nice, generous person, okay? So this person was very generous, okay? <clears throat> All right, so this person also may have been telling people that uh, you really don't have nothing going for yourself and you all only want money. If a person don't got no money, he can't come towards you. So maybe this person made sure they had their bag when they came towards you. That's what I'm saying. Like this person was trying to say to certain people who he didn't think had enough money or he felt was below. Like he felt like this masculine, he felt like this masculine had a lot of hype and he felt like this masculine was total competition for him because this masculine was actually hardworking and dependable. And this person was just narcissistic and maybe using money to manipulate people. 
okay um and he was very upset now that you have commercial success you don't fuck with him and you remove the bondage of which he had you under which could have been um a lot of people talking about you um all kind of uh lies and shit now people are seeing what's really going on people seeing he hating people seeing you left him out in the cold and his ass over there crying about it because he keep, he keep bringing you up for some reason i guess that's what i'm hearing continues to bring you up and always want to be negative about you sit around talk about people like they you know what i'm saying negative um negative things about you oh yeah i bet she depressed because we we took all the shit she had like maybe they was planning some stuff maybe they was sitting around and talking about it and i'm telling you this person who decided to take a chance was this king of swords he started thinking real rationally about the situation because he would notice that you stopped dealing with this person even though this person kept lying and saying you was dealing with them he found out you wasn't because he decided to take a step and come towards you because he said damn why do they sit around and talk about this girl all the time why do they always have something to say about her what the fuck is wrong with y'all y'all grown-ass men y'all need to be out here thinking about getting this money and y'all out here thinking about hoes and think about arguing with feminines and, and what's really going on what's so special about her so he decided to sneak off and come see what that thing do mm, and i think that masculine found out because he was trying to block it but he wasn't able to block it he was being overly defensive and this masculine picked up on it so you got the seven of swords and the king of swords you can count eight in both of them cards that's what put him in the eight of swords was the fact that he cannot block was the fact that he uh, put himself at a disadvantage for trying to talk too much. Now this person maybe wants to... Well, this person maybe want to fight. Maybe want to... Oh, now he all upset and maybe he do want to argue with you just because people are seeing him for who he really is. And he was surprised that it would happen that way. But it's all because you still out here getting to the bag, okay? This masculine can tell that you're a very professional woman because he's a professional man. He can tell that you're very generous and creative and you're really good at business, okay? This person said he's seen it for his own two eyes. You are very good at business. He's very proud of you. You actually inspire him to do more because with this masculine and hanging around these other dudes, he probably wasn't doing everything he could because he was being depleted of energy as well. But this masculine see that y'all on the same type of time when it comes to business. So this person just got to be a lying asshole because his whole life is ending. He got to be jealous because he keep talking about you. He keep trying to maybe... um cause you some misfortune and retaliate i guess that's what he feel like he feel like since you maybe had some sort of uh sexual relationship with this masculine or maybe you used to be close to this masculine whatever the truth may be he feels like this man mad you don't deal with him no more that's why he lying on you that's why he talking all that shit yeah so this person's now humiliated because everybody know that they, that he mad and also he's a liar and he mad that this other man said got a bigger bag than him. But also, this man got an STD. And they said if she ain't got that STD, then we know he ain't fucking with him. That's just on that. This man ain't got an STD. This man maybe betrayed some other people that he do some dealings with. Um, sleeping with their spouses or sleeping with their girlfriends and they ended up contracting a disease from this masculine and then they found out that like them them people walked away from him because they found out he was sleeping with their feminists and then it came out that he was the one that was passing around a damn disease and then it came back to this king of pentacles like oh no this this she the truth right here let me go ahead and snatch her up real quick because this ain't finna happen first and foremost while he focused on her he ain't finna trick her into going back with him he ain't finna do no weird shit let me go ahead and bag her real quick because because she telling the truth she can get to this money she's a like kind like-minded kindred spirit of mine he really feel like that he feel like y'all on the same level that's why he can see this person's bullshit and he feel like let me hurry up and go get over to her because he ain't finna make us sick he got everybody around here with that bullshit so maybe it could have been somebody he was talking to that ended up sleeping with this masculine and um catching some sort of std and he feel like uh-uh that cootie mama over there clean how this man know that cootie mama clean however he know this cool because y'all be celebrating together this masculine feelings hurt like a motherfucker do you hear me y'all be celebrating together this masculine is feelings hurt he is upset that this masculine decided to step out on faith and come towards you he said damn not only can i not get more money than this man but now he finna go get with her i know they finna bank it i know they finna be a power couple y'all came out right here with both of the king and the queen of pentacles and these three of cups right here after some recuperation because of some jealousy and some backstabbing shit that were going on oh y'all on point once again this person tried to or this person feels humiliated because everybody found out he the one out here sleeping with everybody and spreading diseases. And they are starting to change their judgment against him, walk away, don't want to be around him. So this whole little empire of bullies or people to try to block you out that he was building up started crashing. Hold that, if he was married, whole marriage is crashing because he brought that burning D-I-C-K home. And now he's heavily burning in the bed, probably sick too. Shit. 
probably sick too because everything he invested to try to take away from you you're getting any motherfucking way you're gonna get security you're gonna get stability and you're gonna get somebody who want to settle down with you because i'm getting this masculine and this king of pentacles want to bring you an offer yeah he want to bring you an offer of security and wealth and he want to settle down with you so this masculine like i said he finna bag you and this dude over here heavily burdened because he know you about to get this good news from this masculine this is what he was trying to stop period but he ended up having some sort of minor hiccups some sort of delay or bad news that happened because he didn't boom so it's kind of like this person could have been spiritual this person could have been spiritually connected but the fact that they were trying to manipulate with your energy or just they kept manipulating with people's energy period and when they ran across you that was the last fucking straw the straw that broke the camel's back okay this person invested too much into it this person flat ass broke this person was beefing with you this person was like this person was determined to make sure you didn't get no money they thought that they were investing money into Listen, these people could have been trying to take you out. These people could have been trying to make you disappear, honey. This man's going to really put the bag up to try to, you know, get you out of, <clears throat> get you out of the way. And now this man's going to want to come to you and take you off the common water, settle down with you and be your man, okay? He want to show you the compassion a man's supposed to show you. He want to protect you. This man's going to also is emotionally um, balanced. So this one was imbalanced. This one probably was bipolar as hell, up and down. He thought he was very cunning, all right? But he failed trying to misrepresentate you uh, or misrepresent you. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, he sees that it was, um, you know, it was pointless. He shouldn't have never tried it because you ended up with more in the situation anyway, okay? So now maybe this person is trying to get some, you know, nerve to do some more spell work or maybe pay somebody else to do some spell work to try to control the situation, to try to stop this love offer or maybe send you a love offer in before this masculine sends his love offer in. Yeah, I don't know. He came up with some bright idea like, let me try to hit her up. Maybe he was sending you some incoming messages, text messages or like some messages online or whatever um, to try to see if maybe... I guess, I guess this person felt like they was going to test the waters and see kind of where your head at. So they wanted to hit you up and see if you read the message. Because they knew you weren't going to respond. They knew they fucked up. But they wanted to see if you would at least read the message, trying to spy or whatever. They also wanted to communicate with you to see if they could spy and see what you had going on. But um, you're being very clever. You're staying in a higher vibration. Whatever bullshit this person trying to send to you, whatever messages this person's trying to send to you, um, that is bullshit. Because now it's like this person knows that this masculine is coming with this ace of cups. So this page of pentacles head is, is trying to hurry up and rush to you with some small ass offer thinking you just gonna take the bait um because they blocked you out of everything the fuck else for making money thinking that you just gonna take the bait but you already receiving love from this other masculine you're already receiving kindness from this masculine and this masculine is already trying to put something together for you okay and 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 you're not taking this you're not dealing with this you're not this person thinks that they i heard bombard you this person thought that if they tried to bombard you with a lot of spell work that you would be under their spell under their illusion okay this person tried to bombard into your dreams to try to give you some offer so that if you accepted it in the dream state then you would accept it in real life all right now this person realized they're being held back because you're you're stronger than them the little puny shit they trying not gonna work. They they too weak for you. They don't have enough energy for you. They can't get in your energy. You're protected. Also, you done tapped into your divine feminine energy because you done met up with this man already. Y'all y'all starting to balance each other's lives out. Okay, y'all getting it down because I'm getting. If all these people trying to rush after you to get some of your cootie mama, some of your waters, that means you got healing energy. So you and this masculine both got some healing energy. Okay, he got some. He be putting on feminines. They don't act right if they not divine like. Y'all gotta understand sleeping with karmics and you got divine energy or sleeping with karmics and you're in a uh like a um a higher vibration, not only are they gonna get addicted to your energy, but that's because it heals them. They can go out here and sleep with anybody and do whatever and then come back and sleep with you and heal and repair whatever fuck up it is that they did. So they're attached to your energy source. You and this masculine were the energy source, okay? Um <clears throat> in these situations. And y'all balancing each other out, okay? So this person's really hurt because they can't come to you in your dreams and try to pet that kitty is what I heard because somebody doing that shit in real life and doing the damn thing at that, all right? And that makes this person want to be even more competitive, all right? Maybe that's why this person around here talking shit. Maybe that's why this person want to go out and throw a party. They want to manifest some sort of energy maybe off other feminists and try to come to you secretly once again. You're going to have your guard up. Okay, maybe that's what it is. This person spending their last little bit of change 
trying to uh, secure some sort of lasting wealth or secure your lasting wealth by getting you trapped. This person could have been hitting you up, trying to get ready to invite you to a party, child, and man, got mad because you ain't want to go. Or you're not receiving any messages or taking in no messages. When I seen this card, I heard, do, do, do. <laughs> okay? This person was trying hard to get the last little bit of some money off of sacrificing you or having you mentally in prison or constrained in some sort of way. I don't like dominating over you. Listen, I don't like what this person was trying to do. And I'm going to just tell you right now, this person wanted to take your energy because you didn't want to give it to them. And they were going to invite you to a party. And they were going to put something in your drink or put something in your food and they were going to let multiple people pay to lay with you and somebody was going to get you pregnant and then leave you out in the cold and you would have been too embarrassed to try to find out who was the baby daddy because you would have had a lot of people who hit you and had it on video this is this is what this person planned to do this is what this person planned to do yeah and then share this video with different sites, different people. Um, this person was going to try to drug you and pimp you the fuck out, bro. This person was going to try to drug you, make you... This person was going to try to bombard you with magic, okay? Get you to accept this offer in the spiritual realm. Once you did that, they were going to reconnect some sort of bind that they had towards you. And they were going to dominate you by drugging you and letting people uh, sleep with you. And that's how they thought that they was going to gain success and gain control over you. But that's a big fuck no bro. <laughs> yeah, uh, heavy on the fuck no bro, okay? You have more self-control than that. You don't need to be around this person. And once again, you have more strength than this weak-ass person ever could have. This is the shit that they fantasize about. Hurting you, uh, embarrassing you, humiliating you because that's how they feel. This is giving very... Uh, this is giving very much, uh, I'm going to just say, pencil D-I-C-K uh, energy. This is giving real pencil dick energy right here. This is giving real micro mini penis head ass energy. This is giving, I know I can't satisfy a feminine and I really like men ass energy right here. And I don't like it. So we finna go ahead and get up out of this, okay? Then go ahead and get into the next reading, all right? So meet me in the next one.